The next service application we're going to create is Performance Point Services. This application, like Excel Services, is pretty straightforward to create. Almost. I say almost because there is a prerequisite that the prerequisite installer doesn't actually load when you installed SharePoint way back at the beginning. And that is that Performance Point Services is hard-coded to use the SQL 2008R2 version of what's called an ADOMD driver. This is a driver that connects to Analysis Services Cubes, which is almost always what you're going to use Performance Point Services for, at least most people. So what you need to do is just make sure you install this driver before you use Performance Point Services. If you neglect to do this and you install Performance Point Services, you'll just find it doesn't connect to Analysis Services Cubes very well until you install this driver and then reboot the application server. I like to install the driver first, that way I don't have to reboot the application server later. Then after I've done that, we just need to create the application using the BI Services application pool and identity that we used previously with Excel Services. And then after we've done that, we set the attendant service account very similar to Excel services and then start the application on the application server number two. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I'm on SP app two, which is where performance point will be installed. And on that server or any server where performance point will run, I need to install the ADOMD driver from the 2008R2 SP one version of SQL server. So I'll just double click on that. Uh, that file name, if you're looking for it, is asadomd10.msi. So I'll go ahead and run that. It's a very quick install. It's very simple. And it just in, simply installs a driver that Performance Point will be looking for later. I'll click Finish, and I'm done. So now with that done, I can go over to Central Administration, get into Application Management, Manage service applications. Then we'll create a new performance point service application. And the, the little checkbox for adding to the default proxy list is at the top rather than the bottom, and its default is unchecked. So please check that. The database server will, will create the content database is the same. The GUID is in here, so if you don't like GUIDs, most people don't, then change that. And I'll just leave it at that. And we'll use an existing application pool rather than creating a new one. And that application already has the correct service account selected. So we'll click Create. And that will create the content database and register that this service actually exists in the farm. And then always remember that we'll need to go over and start that service on the server where we want it running. It will not automatically do that because it can't read our minds. So if we go to services on server, we're, all, we're already on SP app 2. Let's find performance point services. And it stopped right now. It will start it. Good to go.